Hey folks, welcome in. I uh, did something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is to try the 109G again. I played the 109F with F22 Hunter last week and we had a good time, And um, but it left me craving this one. I was in the 109G, I think the longest um, in 1.X. Um, and of course it was a very different plane back then and I played it some in 2.0 as well before getting the 209. I just wanted to give it a shot, and uh, Matchmaker has decided to give us a little bit of an oddball matchup here. I've got to deal with a Specialized P51 and a Specialized K84, um, so that's going to be interesting, particularly if the um, P51 pilot has opted for a maneuver build. So stock, this thing is more maneuverable than that P51D, but there's no telling um, you know, how they've built the plane. My goal right now is just to re-familiarize myself with the aircraft. I love the parade camo for this uh, that we got early on, by the way, so that's why I'm using it. And uh, just kind of, you know, see if I see if I enjoy it 2.0. Uh, the hub gun is a very different creature these days, obviously. Uh, and the 30s, those 30s can be tricky. So now that's interesting. So the P51 is way below me. Uh, So we have a competent bomber pilot, I would say. Uh, but this mosquito is going to fall prey to my guns. I think one of the other guys is climbing on me right now. But I'm going to finish this guy off first. I have plenty of energy to deal with a climbing light fighter. Assuming that is the uh, P-51 down there. It is. So we're going to just force him to come up after me. I'm not sure, you know, it's interesting. We'll, uh, we'll continue to deal with, uh, no. Yeah, he's trying to come up after me now, which will be good. The sub gun is uh, better and easier than I remember it being. So I have all of my boost. We're just going to turn in a circle and see if he can uh, can hang with us here. The answer is maybe yes. He's obviously used his pneumatic at this point. We just want to cross him up in the energy fight now. And unfortunately, 2v1s are going to do that. So probably would have had him with a little more time uh, and the mosquito not interfering, but uh, it is what it is. Now, the good news is I've tied up both of them over that plant, right? And so as a result of that, we've been able to cap out some of the other areas. They've just filled the plant, but now I can go take it right back from them. We did not, I don't know if we got our uh, 80 points in there or not. We'll see. I'm also flying this with a subpar pilot as well. I don't want to like to spend gold on uh, dealing with uh, that. So don't kill the tornado yet. Don't kill the tornado. Oh, never mind. He's out of the zone anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear him. He went and turn him back to the zone anyway. This guy will be another 60 points. Good. We're going on a diving rampage here. Just going to dive past them because we want another 60 from him. And then we want him. And then we want to get out of the zone, I think. It's the mosquito that's on us. And we're just going to twirl away from him. And he's going to go back in the zone. Which means... No, he's not. He's skating it. Good. Good for him. Smart play. He's trying to bomb trap me. Yep. That will not work. There we go. 
And yeah, we're still up and running. The guy's locked, so he's not going to get... Uh, will be a problem anytime soon losing him. I'm not going to let the tornado finish us. Goodness gracious. Alright. Maybe it's a bad idea to stick around here. Yeah, I'm, I'm stalled out in the middle of this tornado. Holy moly. All right, definitely relearning this plane. Let's just, let's say that. <laughs> I think I'm trying to do too much with it, uh, with all these uh, typhoons around. I would say a lot of Lou seems to know what he's doing for sure. Unfortunately, that was our second death, so the timer is up a good bit. We're going to go try capture. Oh, well, that zone's captured. I guess we'll just try to defend the mid. I guess we're not doing too bad, but uh, not as well as we could be doing, that's for sure. I do kind of want to specialize this. Um, yeah, I bought the Kerr first, and it's a fantastic plane. I don't think anybody is, would ever dispute that, but... I like a little bit of a challenge when playing, and I like a little more maneuverability when playing, and uh, this has the opportunity to do that. <clears throat> so we're also kind of looking at... Ooh, you can tell I'm out of practice, too, from being two weeks on the road. My uh, first aid kit's not back yet, sadly. When that 30 hits, you really feel it, don't you? Alright, squall lines up, that's a good deal. He's headed out of the zone. We don't care about that. Okay, here we go. Wanna make sure we got the other guy first, but the bots did him in. And that'll be eight hundred, because we held on to the uh, mining plant. Alright, warm up match. Definitely a warm up match. We're going to do one more. So, the good news is next week is my last week of travel for a while. And um, it will be good to be home for one thing because I feel like I haven't been home a whole lot. And when I have been home, I've been working my tail off trying to catch up on stuff. But um, I'm also just excited to kind of get back into a routine again. I don't know about you guys, but. Um, I enjoy having a little bit of routine in my life. Oh, of course, we forgot to tap that on. So yeah, so we're gonna try and specialize this um, and just get to get to where we can play around with it in a specialist form and, and see what that does for us. But uh, let's go one more into the breach with a 97 pilot this time and uh, kind of go from there. You can tell this was a 1.x plane for me because I have two crown target markers on it from back on 1.x when it was much easier to do that and when you sometimes had to do that because the timer was ticking and you were hunting for that uh, last ground attack aircraft and you just kind of needed <laughs> you needed to get the equalizers because when you killed a ground target it it set the meter the, the the clock on the match back a little bit it's kind of like the ticket system that war thunder uses uh, but when you killed a ground target it, it pushed the meter back there was a rate of rate of decay that was based on, you know, kind of your average, your overall scores on what you had destroyed, and there was a rate of uh, you would lose uh, a percentage off the bar when you made a kill. Um, and so, when there's no aircraft left to kill, you had to go kill ground targets. And of course, you were hunting for that last GAA that was hiding somewhere, uh, which I, you know, is part of where that whole navigational equipment comes from, right? The ability to be stealthy across the map. All right, so we've got J4M 109F Specialized, something to look out for, and a 210 over here. Command centers, rocket base, garrisons. Um, we'll, of course, do the this triangle here, garrison, 
command center rocket base. Well, I'm not feeling particularly intimidated by the other team, so we may just actually go rocket base to begin with. Actually, what I'll probably do is a little slinging route. Um, so you can help. The bots you can somewhat trust to do their job, obviously, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take an angle here, and we're going to clip off a bot over the garrison. And then we're going to turn towards uh, the rocket base. And we'll probably get there before anybody can flip it. Um, and Mike can uh, lend our weight to the efforts there. I'm going to stay up high, catch one of these heavies. All right, there we go. So you see that we only got 30 cap points left at this point. So I'm just going to bust a move. Pop that boost, come down a little bit on the altitude. And we're going to bust a move into the center here. If anybody came here, they'd have a hard time capping it before we got here. And um, if they're not here yet, we're going to be ahead of them because if they went to go cap another location and get there, you know, they're probably spent the whole time doing that. Now, I think I've got one on my tail right now. Yeah, 109F, who apparently didn't see me or decided to go for another target. He's specialized, so I'm guessing he can outturn me. The goal here is to shoot him down before he can uh, do anything else to me. And that is indeed what we are able to accomplish. This 2T, actually, let's go for the A26. Oh, the J4M is coming in as well. We need to keep an eye on him. Yep, that's what I thought. I thought he might be uh, curious to take a pass at me. Fortunately, the J4M, even if it's specialized, I don't think it, no, it's not specialized, but uh, doesn't have the altitude regime to deal with us up here and certainly doesn't have the maneuverability to deal with us up here. So we can just sit on his tail just above our stall speed. And it's a fairly fragile aircraft, unfortunately, with the twin boom and uh, propeller. So... Uh, He's going to go down. All right, looks like Mark has got that guy. So we've been able to fend off the initial assault from their aircraft. Uh, come on, my dude. Kill the bomber. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was close. Uh, when the in interim, we've already lost somebody else, and the 109F is back. I'm going to call for some help. I'm going to come off. And, of course, we lost a fire there. Use that rudder. Uh, I think he's specialized for speed rather than anything else. Let's get this 60 points before he gets out of the zone. There we go. Now I just need one of these air defense aircraft. And actually, you know what? Let's clear this guy. The acts are dangerous. We don't want him to clip. Coming. They are determined to take this zone, aren't they? Alright, if we can get this uh, XP-50 out of the way, that will be the zone in our favor. Holy moly. Yeah, now we're in trouble. Yep. Oh, too many. Too many and I've got zero help. And we haven't, uh, apparently, haven't taken our. That's wild. All right, well, he's working on the zone. I can't believe we haven't gotten it yet. Holy moly. Okay, well, they, they're going to get it. So let's go back over here. So we got to get this rocket base, or it's going to be a bad news. Let's get somebody on the bomber. I'm waking back up now. I'm getting, I'm getting my legs back under me from all of this. Turn the truck on. 720 is our cap speed. You can see the 109G easily hits that. So uh, unfortunately, they got the base. So that's going to be a real pain in our ass, uh, especially with them having already having their uh, bomber. So. 
goal here is to clear some dudes uh, before the timer runs out, specifically, uh, or after the timer runs out, excuse me. There's one. Oh, we're gonna lose this XP. This is the problem, our, our bots keep dying in the zone. roll this so I can stay behind him. That was a little bit of a rudder turn. Right, in that lag roll. So unfortunately our bot died in the zone. And so now we're at a hundred. You see you got a pretty good overheat time on this 30, right? It's just a matter of dialing it in and dealing with invincible uh, <laughs> invincible ADAs. Uh, that can I get some help in this zone, please? We are one step away from getting supremacy here. Finally. Next step. Oh my gosh. So at least I died before the timer was out, but we've got to get a hold of their. Got to go cap something, my dude. I'm gonna go over here, I think. So we can't afford to lose this. All right, and they're killing us. So we're gonna go after this bomber. Because we are at squall line now. So we gotta start clipping, clipping dudes fast. We'll let our rocket base do some of the work for us. And there's where the 30 is frustrating. All right, he's down. Let's get the 109 F out of this match. He's not using rudder at all. That's why I'm able to come around on him so easily. So even if he is built for any sort of maneuver, um, it's just not, not gonna go well for him with the rudder being used. Peel off and make sure we don't die here on the dive because the 109 does have superb dive speed. We're just going to air break that and flap it. All right, and their ability to take zones is greatly diminished at this point, but they are ahead, and so we got to keep working to clear this out. I need to not chase that 109 or that. Let the boost come up a little bit. Now I can chase him. Get inside 600 meters so that 30 can do some work. See the rocket base is working for us now. You can see it's kind of flipping zones. No, don't run into me, bot. We get the award for worst bots this match, I feel like. All right, We've cleared out this area. Let's drop the yak. Another danger spot that needs to go away, and then we're going to go take that. They've only got two left. One's over there. All right, let's go. Let's just clear out uh, enemies then. Let's go clear this heavy. Oh, and there's the. Okay, so we only got two left, and we can we can salvage this. us into the dive here and this XP 75 doesn't have long to live not long at all I 
out of my way, bot. We're going to clear this game out. Much, much better. All right. Somehow I got Wing Legend. You know, I got 13, 725. I don't know. Well, <laughs> who knows how the math is calculated in this game? <laughs> That felt good. So one of the reasons I like the G over the K is that added maneuverability. And you could argue you don't need it on the K and you know, because of the firepower, I would agree. But it's, um, for me, it's fun to have that maneuverability to be able to pull these things off. Uh, yeah, one short of a, one short of a uh, ace there as well. So um, just to be able to have that maneuverability and do stuff and the 30 feels actually really good. Um, given where we're at and just those freaking oh hey okay so our, our ui was scrubbed basically uh in a bad place so we got 15 and did really well yeah i mean that's that's fantastic so definitely we'll take that um for a follow-up match and, and getting the wheels back on got some pilot xp and of course um i won't be able to do any of the weekend missions mission since i'm leaving town tomorrow but uh but man, this is great. I uh, got a good start off here to specializing this guy. So I'm glad I rebought this. Um, I meant to do it when we had the discount on German aircraft. And of course, as I said, I've been so busy, it didn't, didn't happen. But um, we'll see how this goes in, uh, in 2.0. I'm really looking forward to kind of putting it there, um, putting it out there and see how it does. Especially since in some ways it makes for a decent counter uh, to the K6 because you've got that better turn time, right? And you got a better climb rate. Um, so, you know, I think there's some things to, to play with here. Better minimal optimal speed so you can turn fight it better even uh, even without that. Uh, and then air, from an airspeed perspective, I mean, you know, it's got a little little better there too, right? So, I don't know, just, just some things to think about. Um, obviously, you can put a better pilot in this. But, uh, but yeah, some things to think about. And... Uh, very enjoyable. A different tail wheel in it. I didn't notice that before. Interesting. So yeah, uh, there's the, the G slash the early K, if you will, with the 30 hub gun and the 215s. Uh, a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy flying this again. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in it as we fly around in the skies. And I hope you have a great weekend and a great week. I do have um, basically one video a week to give to you uh, while I'm gone. And then when I'm back, we'll be back into the two videos a week format. And uh, so really looking forward to that, as I said. Um, until then, enjoy some of the other content creators that are putting stuff out. We've got some, some people running. F22 and Nova have new videos out uh, this week as well. Go give them some love. And uh, just enjoy the game, man. Enjoy it. So uh, good luck and good hunting.